All right, let's talk about a special case of rotations here. So this example says 270 degrees clockwise. Now, for those of you uh, who have known the formulas that from my class, you know that we've done a 90 degree clockwise, a 90 degree counterclockwise, and a 180 degree rotation. But I've never taught you anything about 270 clockwise. So let's think about it for a second here, okay? So I'm going to draw my fancy circle down. Oh, we'll do it up here this time. So here's my circle. And again, let's write some numbers on there. 12, 3, 6, and 9. Okay. So if I were to go 270 degrees clockwise, starting from 12, we'll say. Okay, so if I were to go from here, then that would mean I'd have to go to 3, to 6, all the way to 9. That would be 270 degrees clockwise. So that's a long distance to travel. So we could think about this and say, wouldn't it be just the same if I can go from 12 to 9, right? Because I would end up in the same exact spot. So rather than going 270 degrees clockwise, what I can actually do is go 90 degrees counterclockwise. So the same is true if the instruction said go 90 degrees counterclockwise. I could go 270 degrees clockwise. But the reason why I'm shortening it for uh, this lesson is because we know a formula for 90 degrees counterclockwise. We don't know a formula for 270 degrees clockwise. So, we're, so you, whenever you see something above 180, so in this case 270, uh, think of the, going the other direction. So if it's 270 clockwise, think about going 90 degrees counterclockwise. So that's what we're going to start with here. Let's go ahead and get started with that. So, and the formula, again, is xy, but it changes to negative y comma x. So the last example we did, it was 90 degrees clockwise. So x and y switch places again, but instead of x being negative this time, in the counterclockwise formula, the y is negative. And remember, negative in algebra doesn't mean negative, it means the sign changes. So if y was positive, it will become negative. And if y was negative, it becomes positive positive. So let's go ahead and take a look at our shape here. This is the example I'll give you here. So there's R, S, T, and Q. All right, we'll go ahead and connect all of our shapes there. So looks like some type of trapezoid uh, up on the screen. And again, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we want to go opposite of the clock, meaning we're going to be moving it to the right in this case. All right, so let's take a look at point R, or point Q, I'm sorry. Point Q is at negative 6, negative 4. So according to the formula, I need Y and X need to switch places. But notice how this time, instead of negative 4, it becomes positive 4. The 6 doesn't change this time, but the Y changes. So it was negative 4, and now it becomes positive 4. So my new coordinate is 4, negative 6. For R... It originally was at negative 5, 0, but it switches places, and now it's 0, comma, negative 5. Now, notice how 0 doesn't need to have a negative 0, because zero, negative 0 and positive 0 are the same thing. So, I don't need to put the negative in front of 0, and negative 5 doesn't get changed. So, in this case, the new coordinate for R is 0, comma, negative 5. Same thing for S. It's negative 3, comma, 0. They switch places, 0, comma, negative 3. And 0 doesn't need to change signs, because 0 is still 0. And then for t, it, is, it was negative 1, negative 4, but it switches, and it was now negative 4, negative 1, but the negative 4 switches to positive 4. All right, let's plot all of our new points. Q is at 4, negative 6. R is at 0, negative 5. S is at 0, negative 3. And T is at 4, negative 1. And there's my new shape. So the shape and size didn't change. All it did was turn or rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise.